Hello everybody, welcome to week one of Wildlife Wednesdays. My name is Andres Rosales, and today we're at Government Canyon State Natural Area at one of our prairie restoration areas. Today we'll be going over the scientific method and the theme this week is thinking like a scientist. We will look at some tracks and go over some commonly used tools. Let's take a look at some of the tools that we can use as scientists. Here I have a compass. A compass is used to find magnetic north. You can use this to navigate your ways through the trails or through the woods, and it's good for finding direction. Here with me, I have a magnifying glass. This is used to take a closer look at items that you might not be able to see with your bare eye. Here I have a journal. This is to write down any recordings or observations that you may take in the, out in the field. Here with me, I have a ruler. This is used to you know, measure any objects that you may need and just to record uh, measurements. And here with me, I have binoculars. These are used to look at things that may be far away so you can get a closer look at them. Now that I have all my tools, let's go see if we can find some animal tracks. a scientist it's important to have good observation skills these observation skills allow us to learn about the natural world around us it's important to ask questions about the natural world around us because it allows us to learn more about the world we live in we're going to use our observation skills along with our tools to identify some tracks that we found today when you're out observing and recording data it's important to have a hypothesis Hypothesis is an educated guess starting off an investigation based on little information. So let's use a hypothesis and use our observing skills to go find some tracks. I think I see some tracks ahead. Let's go take a closer look. So, whatever animal this was, it has three toes. You can kind of make out the claw marks. You can see the heel strike. There's another claw right here. There's another one down here. Three toes, claws, claw on the heel strike. My hypothesis is that this is a turkey. Here at Government Canyon, we only have one type of turkeys and that's the Rio Grande turkey. While hiking on one of our trails, we stumbled upon some hog activity. As you can see, we have some hog traps leading up to some rooting. This is only a small amount of damage that these feral hogs can do, but they root like this and cause damage to the land. As you can see, you can see the two hooves and how they point together. Same right here, two hooves point together. My hypothesis is a feral hog and I'm fairly sure because not only do we have prints, but we have rooting. While hiking on the Discovery Trail, I stumbled upon some coyote scat. This is a sign that we have coyotes here at Government Canyon. So whenever you're on the trail, make sure you watch your step. Also while on the Discovery Trail, I found some deer tracks. See, we have two two hooves right here and how they're pretty parallel to each other. That's how you can tell this is a deer. And there's another one right there. And I'm assuming they went somewhere that way. Again, out here on the discovery trail, I've stumbled across some more coyote scat. You can tell this looks very different from the one we found earlier. You can see a couple of seeds and even some fur in this one.
Here at Government Canyon, we have two types of dinosaur tracks, left around 110 million years ago. Here, I'm at the lower theropod tracks. A theropod is a three-toed, two-legged, meat-eating animal. Many birds nowadays can be considered as a theropod. Let's take a closer look at this one. As you can tell, we have three toes, and you can make out where the, claw, where the claws were. This dinosaur was heading in this direction. As you can tell, we got one track right here and another right here. This theropod was going about two miles per hour in a northeast direction, leaving 27 tracks. This theropod is believed to be between 10 and 11 feet at the hip. Now let's go check out a different dinosaur, the seropod tracks. Right now I'm sitting in the sauropod tracks. A sauropod is a four-legged, round-footed, plant-eating animal. We can't precisely know what type of sauropod left these tracks, but we, but we believe it's a sauroposidon. Let's take a closer look at these tracks. So these, these sauropod tracks are more likely left from a juvenile. There are 19 tracks and most likely left by one individual. When these tracks were left here around 110 million years ago, Texas was a coast, much like the Gulf of Mexico. These tracks have been here for millions of years. So please, when you come visit Government Canyon, read the signs and don't get on the tracks. All right, everybody, that's all we have time for this week. Don't forget to do your pre-activity, thinking like a spider, and your post-activity, environmental observations. Both will be in the description below. Make sure to join us next week on week two, where we talk about bird adaptations and look at some native birds here at Government Canyon State Natural Area. Thank you.